Assalamu alaikum friends in this video tutorial I will explain few important sheet metal commands so stay tuned with me till end of this video so let's start by drawing a sketch on front plane choose line now insert dimensions 1 meter and 0.5 meter or 500 millimeters press escape button the first command in the sheet metal is base flange tab click on it first of all the extrusion length or depth 1 meter if you want to reverse the direction click on this I, uh, button here is the direction 2 and the thickness for the sheet here is the band radius and rest of the settings so click on ok button the second option in the sheet metal is edge flange so click on it and then select any of the edge and drag your mouse upward or downward and define the direction so click here and then select rest of the edges here is the gap distance let me show you the gap between both of these corners instead of 0.3 millimeters let me type 10 millimeter you can see the distance has been increased so we need only 0.3 millimeter here is the degree the extrusion length for how much upward you want this flange we need only 300 millimeters type 300 and press ok button here is the flange position and rest of the options now let's suppose you want to edit the dimensions for this edge only select it from here and then click on this button edit flange profile now you can see these lines are black which means that this sketch is fully defined and cannot be edited to edit this sketch click on this line and then right click on this box and delete all relations now you can edit this sketch you can also insert dimensions to this sketch now press finish button one more thing which needs to be discussed that if you can see this corner is not in a very good position to resolve this issue again re-edit the edge flange feature and then scroll down now check in to this box trim side bands and press ok button the problem is resolved now next command in the sheet metal is you can if you can see there is a gap between the, both of these corners to minimize or merge both of these corners click on this arrow below the corners button and then select close corner zoom in and select any of the face here is the corner type and the distance between the corners 
वो प्रेस ओके बटन नेक्स्ट कमांड इन द शीट मेटल इज स्केच बैंड कमांड फॉर दैट क्लिक ऑन एनी फेस एंड देन स्केच नाउ नॉर्मल टू एंड ड्रा आ लाइन फ्रॉम वन एंड टू एन अदर एंड नाउ डिफाइन इट थ्री हंड्रेड Now in the sheet metal tab click on sketch band first of all it will ask you about the fixed face so click on this face as it is fixed here is the degree you can select any degree and here is the band radius this radius if you check into this box use a default radius it will be automatically selected which which is 10 mm you can edit it also 0.5 and press okay button next command in the sheet metal is hem click on it and then select the edge now you can see it is folded it is the hem position or hem uh, setting type of hem and size if we choose this and the length and rest of the settings you can also edit the dimensions for hem by clicking on this button or we'll press okay button now let's suppose you want to make a hole on both of these faces at the same time for this click on unfold button and then fixed face select this and then the bands select radius and press okay button now you can see this flange is now flatter so click on this face and make sketch normal to and draw a circle of any dimension now in the features click on extruded cut and <coughs> check into this box link to thickness so it will cut the thickness only press okay button now to fold this flange in the sheet metal tab click on fold button the face one is already selected now select this radius and press okay button now you can see this cut is done in both of these faces another amazing feature of sheet metal is forming tool so click on design library here and then click on this arrow design library and then the forming tools and here louvers and select louver zoom in 
if you click on flip tool it will reverse the direction of lower upward uh, downward and upward here is the degree to change the direction of lower type 90 degree and here are the rest of the options now to adjust it on the face click on position and then in the sketch tab select smart dimensions and select origin point and this edge one hundred millimeters the distance fifty millimeter Now you can press OK button and again OK button. Now you can see the louver has been created to this geometry. Now in the features tab, click on linear pattern button. And the direction one, direction two, and the features. Click on this arrow and select lever one. Here is the distance between two louvers. One hundred and the quantity. Twenty and flip the dimension direction for direction two. The distance is again one hundred and fifty. Quantity. Click on this arrow in front of instances to skip and skip these two instances. Press OK button. The next command in the sheet metal is sheet metal gusset. Click on it and select any of two faces to make gusset. Here you can see the gusset has automatically been created this is the distance from reference point here is the intent depth or you can choose your own by checking into this option the other thing here is the width of gusset And rest of the options so click on ok button you can see the gusset from outside you can also make the linear pattern for this gusset now at the end of this tutorial the very important command is flatten command if you click on this button Now you can measure all the dimensions for manufacturing process. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फॉर मोर